How's it going, Shop It Squad? My name is Wonzy Burnett, and welcome back to another episode of this Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. Now, uh, I know in the last episode I asked you guys to um, help me come up with a name for all of my, uh, you know, for all of my subscribers slash fan base slash basically you guys, uh, and I didn't think I saw anyone say Shop It Squad, and I realised that actually has a nice little ring to it, so. I think I'm going to keep that one for now, unless someone can convince me otherwise, so... Uh, until further notice, you guys are now officially the Shop It Squad. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go off here into the runes of Alf, and I know that you have to do a bit of a mini-game in order to get uh, anything from the runes of Alf. So, uh, okay, it's not that one, it is the next one. If you just go up into it, and then right... Then up again, then left, and in here, you get to do a little mini game. So I've always been bad at this mini game. It's just oh, I had it. Yeah, that's right. And then this, turn it, turn it, and then this goes there, and this goes there. Nope. So this one here, and this one, like that. And there we are. <laughs> I always get confused at that. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to do that, which is going to basically release the unknown into the world. Also allow us to get an encounter. Did you just come down from above? So, y you must have solved this panel puzzle. That is wonderful. You seem to have some talent with archaeology. I will give you this unknown report. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Unknown report. Now, I don't know if they're going to keep the unknowns in here. There's a strange presence here. I don't know if they're going to keep the unknowns in here, or if it's going to be something else. I guess we'll find out. Eye Palm! Alright, I quite like Eye Palm. One of my favourite Pokemon in Diamond and Pearl was Ambipon. Uh, I, I should clarify, like, Pokemon to be used. That was risky. Oh, that was risky! I should not have done that! I'm going to you. I'm pretty sure I can bubble you as well. Oh, perfect! My calculations. Okay, let's just throw a Pokeball and get ourselves an eye pump. Or maybe not. Alright, come on. You're not that much of a pain to catch. Come on, why are you being a pain? Don't do this to me. Right. One. Two. The fuck? Oh god, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Once again, I should not have said that. <laughs> Get in the ball, thank you. Oh my god. <sighs> I don't like Hype Bomb. <laughs> and let's give it a nickname. Uh, who do I know that. Oh, Dancer Hawker! Absolutely. It has to be named after him. One of my very good friends in the Pokemon community, Sir Hawker. Uh, I've been in a couple of his streams a few times. He's a very, very nice guy. Uh, so yeah, make sure you go and check him out if you can. He's very, very nice. Uh, I collaborated with him on one of the PPL draft streams before. Oh, I could have got Delcati as well. Okay. Seems like this place has just turned into a normal dungeon. Oh, why have I done that? Force bomb. Bonk. Go away. But yeah, um, I collaborated with him on a PPL draft stream. The ones Nido Queen. That would have been a thing. <laughs> Before I keep getting interrupted by Pokemon, uh, I did collaborate with him on a PPL draft stream, and it was a very fun time. Uh, we flowed off of each other quite well. Uh, haven't done that in a while, though, but he's a very, very nice person, and uh, yeah, he's someone who definitely deserves a lot more love in the community. He's built his entire channel slash community off of being safe, being positive, uh, helping people out with problems, and he's just a very genuine person. So, yeah, uh, if I could recommend anyone in this community, well, I've got quite a few people I'd like to recommend and shout out, but um, yeah, he's definitely one of them. Uh, Dan, Sir Hawker, love you, man. We'll have to call up again soon. <laughs> and I don't know if you can see it down below, but your question of the day for today, my Shuppet gang, Shuppet, Shuppet squad, God, I've only just come up with the name and I'm already getting it wrong. <laughs> uh, your question of the day for today, Shuppet squad, is are we part of the Pepsi gang or are we part of the Coke squad? Uh, do you prefer Coke or Pepsi? Now, this is probably the most polarizing thing I've ever asked anyone in my life. So, <laughs> 
Uh, you guys let me know um, what you uh, what what your preference is. Let's have a look at the it's careful. So okay, so we have you, we have a naive, we have rash, we have rash, hasty, and adamant. Okay, uh, this team's literally gonna die to fire, die to fighting. Yeah, uh, it's not as good as I thought it was to be honest. <laughs> So yeah, uh, okay, uh, I think I'm just going to lead with Rolo and just try and bust down whatever we see. So let's get our asses into the gym. I'm going in with no potions, going in blind, fully prepared to lose a couple of things here, but hashtag YOLO. I can't believe how ridiculously high this is, but from up here you can tell what it feels like to be a bird Pokemon. Let's see if you're good, let me see if you're good enough to face Volker. I mean, I'm pretty sure I will be, and considering I have a Wii Ball. Oh, a Bronzong! Ooh! That's gonna be fun. I love Bronzong. A lot of people don't, and they're just like, oh, it's just another, um, oh, it's just another stupid inanimate object Pokemon, but I genuinely love Bronzong. It's one of my favourite Pokemon ever. Uh, I played through Diamond and Pearl with one, and surprisingly enough, it's actually a really good Pokemon in those games for a story playthrough, as well as like in competitive. It's I don't know. There's just something really fun about it. It hits as hard as you'd expect with like base 78 attack and base set, uh, 73 special attack, I believe it is. It hits as hard as you'd expect. It's quite bulky, so if you do need to, um, if I just faint work, an attack that hits a foe using Protect or Detect it also lifts the effects of it. Okay, so it's basically a better quick attack in this game. I don't really need Endure, so let's get rid of that. But yeah, um, it's just, it's quite bulky for what you, like, for how difficult it is to actually, like, sorry, it's quite bulky for how hard it hits. You don't expect it to be as good as it is. I, I just really like Bronzong. It has a cool cry as well. But yeah, let's, uh, let's keep going. Ho ho! You some kind of big shot? We'll see. What happens if you get pushed around up here? You think you'll stagger and fall? People here are training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Bring it on! I'm sure they are, but I'm just a ten-year-old kid. I don't really care, mate. A victory bell. Okay. That's a thing. Let's see faint. Oh, it only works during Protect or Detect. That's stupid! Oh my god, that's dumb! Get out there, Yuri on Ice. Go on. That's actually stupid. Why did they ever think that was a good move? 50 base power, really? That's what you ex- Oh god. If they ever want half of these moves to be usable, they need a big overhaul. Oh, I'm gonna need to speed this up. Quick attack, Razor Leaf again. Quick attack, Razor Leaf again. Quick attack, boom. Some EXP. Ooh, an Empoleon. Alright, uh... We've had a Primple up, now we've had an Empoleon. Uh, my best matchup here is Rolo. I'm gonna make uh, Rolo smack this thing in the face. Now, in Gen 4, I loved the look of Empoleon shining. I thought it looked really cool. Uh, the green was just like... It worked well with that kind of style, but... Nah, I, I don't like it anymore. From Gen 3 and f uh, from Gen 5 and 6 onwards, it just hasn't looked the same. Especially in Gen 6 and 7, it looks awful. Right, level 16. Here we are, nice. A level. You gonna get a new move? No. Alright. <laughs> Could do with a new move. I only have Flash. Is Flash. Oh, Focus Blast! I thought that was Flash! That's useful. <laughs> I could give it to. <laughs> I could give it Oh, I don't know. That's a tough choice. Uh, oh. That's a really tough one. That's really tough. Oh. I think you learn it anyway. No, wait, no you don't. Um, are you really going to need it? Yeah, but you could... Oh. I think for longevity's sake, I've got to give it to you. Yeah, give it to Riolo. That was really tough! I could have immediately given it Focus Blast. Oh, I'm Falcon, the Violet City Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip fly... No, no, he's going to be an anime character. 
People say you can clip flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt. Pokemon uh, uh, with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of magnificent bird Pokemon. Come on, speed it up. <laughs> Go. You're too slow. <laughs> Grove oil. Ah, good old Grove oil. Grove oil, one of my favorite Pokemon, man. I, d I don't know why. It just has a, a thing about it. But let's go into Yuri on Ice. Go on. We could do with trying to get you a new move as soon as possible. I know it gets Hydro Pump late on into its lifespan. Absorb. Okay. Quick attack this mofo. Pound. Alright, you're probably not going to do much to me because I did switch in. Quick attack. This is not your race either. So, uh... I'm not... I I'm keeping my fingers crossed that your other Pokemon's going to be as a... Oh, you've got your own quick attack. Alright. Boom. Schmack. Ah, uh, not quite. Go for an Absorb. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I didn't burn his potion either, so uh, that's not good. Please be something easy to take out. It's a... I know exactly what moves it's going to have as well. Uh, so I guess for me the best thing I can do is just keep quick attacking. You're going to waste an Endure on me. You're only going to have quick attack, pound, force palm and something else. So my best bet here is you just stay in and keep quick attacking. Oh, and counter, of course. Oh, that's not good. Bubble. We'll start bubbling it instead. Can't counter bubbles! <laughs> okay, so it's got Endure, Counter, Foresight, and probably Quick Attack. I mean, if you're flying with a Riolu, then uh, you've got a bit of a problem, mate. <laughs> okay, okay. Endure. It's going to keep going for that. The good thing is... Um, if it's going for these Endures, it can't go for one next turn. Oh, I won't be able to take it out. Oh, God. Force Palm. Yeah, okay, okay. Four times resisted. Three damage. No Paralysis. Quick Attack. Should take it out. Yes! <laughs> Yuri on Ice. Oh, what a monster. What a monster. Fair play. And that right there is our first gym badge of this challenge. Uh, yeah, buzzing. Give me that Zephyr badge, yo. Where's my anime character voice gone? With that badge, Pokemon included, tr uh, Pokemon including traded Pokemon up to level 20 will obey you without question. It also enables you to use the hidden move Rock Smash anytime outside of battle. Same TM51. All right. By using a TM, a Pokemon will instantly learn a new move. Think before you act. A TM can only be used once. It contains Roost, but does it really? As for your next move, I would suggest Azalea Town. Let's see what it really contains. Poison Steam. <sighs> hey, you can learn it! <laughs> I guess. I guess why not? I don't really need water sports. Sweet, uh, sweet scent can be useful. Ah, go away. I don't need you. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh, I love this masquerade. I was so close to saying I love Yuri on Ice there, but I no. <laughs> Let's not say that. Nice battle. Keep it up and you'll be the champion in no time. I'm sure I won't. Right, let's... Oh, Professor Realm. Are you about to give me this egg? Yes, you are. My assistant is at the Pokemon in Violet City. Could you go and meet him and pick up that egg? Yes, I will. I will absolutely go and do that. But I do need to go and put away a Pokemon first. So uh, that's my next move, I think. Let's go and do that. Grab this thing. Someone's PC. Move Pokemon. Uh, let's just put you away for a minute, Sir Hawker. I will also take you off of the, uh, the layout as well. So, uh, yeah, you're not going to be used for now. I want to see what's inside this egg. I am so, so curious. Super, super curious. So let's go to the Pokemon, pick it up. So I remember in one of my first ever Nuzlocks, the egg had somehow been changed to a Deoxys. And I was like, what? Uh, and I loved it to pieces, but I couldn't use it because the sprite broke and I wasn't happy. God, I've already got bored of reading the text. You can tell how, uh, 
lot into this I am. Right, uh, let's get some potions, get about four of those, get some regular potions, about that many, and then three, four Pokeballs, yeah, three Pokeballs, right. Seems good to me. Uh, yeah, let's see what's inside this egg. How close are you to hatching? Here's the move. Okay. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hatch it. So, uh, oh, hello, Kimono girl. What are you doing? Oh my! That egg must be. I see. So it was added from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm, and then from Professor Elm to you. Now I get it. Do you? That egg is truly an important egg. Please do take good care of it for me. Is that understood? I am counting on you. Why was that egg important? I don't remember. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna speed up and hatch this egg. I am very curious as to what's inside. Normally I just carry it with me. Uh, in normal playthroughs of Heart Gold Soul Silver, you can cheese Morty's gym by keeping the Togepi at as low level as you want and uh, just watching as all of the ghost type Pokemon are unable to hurt you and you just extra sensory them to death. <laughs> because the Togepi comes with the egg move extra sensory. Uh, yeah, you just cheese it to death, get loads of levels on your Togepi because it's a normal type and their ghost type moves can't hurt it. The only thing you do need to watch out for is curse. Every time they curse you, you just stand there and, <laughs> you know, you, you either switch out or you just keep healing and you extra sensory them to death. It's quite a nice way of cheesing it, actually. Right, let's do this. God, this is going to be a pain, isn't it? I hate how long eggs take, take to hatch. And I hate how breeding is like the central mechanic to uh, like competitive Pokemon. I understand why people gen. I really do. People don't have the time to sit there and breed for like four or five hours getting the perfect uh, EV, perfect hidden power on their Pokemon. It's They don't have the time to do that. I know I know. I don't. So I completely understand why people gen. I mean, otherwise you wouldn't be able to get half of your draft leagues done. You need geners, you need recorders, you need people to buy uh, expensive stuff. It's dumb. <laughs> it's dumb. Although, I do like how satisfying it is. I just wish that it was easier to do. If you make eggs take half the time to hatch, uh, I know you can obviously increase it with flame body or magma armor, and I know, I know you can do that, but... If you took a little bit of time to, you know, try and fix the mechanics, make it a bit easier. I mean, Pokemon has come under criticism so much recently for being easy, for being hand-holdy, for making the main story uh, too easy and, and just stuff like that. But when it comes to breeding, they've kept getting into the competitive scene, like the hardest thing to do in the game. I feel like they should kind of change the focus of it, make the main story a bit more difficult, make there a better way of getting Pokemon. I don't know. I liked the introduction of the gold bottle cap system. I think that was a great step in the right direction, but it doesn't edit hidden powers. Hidden power, in my opinion. Hidden power and IVs are the biggest problem when it comes to Pokemon. Uh, like, competitive Pokemon. So if you, if you changed up the hidden power system, if you changed up IVs, um... And then I don't think you'd have much of a problem. I liked super training. Super training was a great way to introduce people to effort values and uh, all that kind of stuff. I think it was fantastic. Uh, X and Y took great strides in that sense. Super training was a great addition. It's actually quite fun as well once you get into it. And the end result is seeing your Pokemon beefed out to the max. Hell yeah. Now here we go. Here we go. What we got from this egg? Something good, something good, something good. I'm just as confused as how, how does a Raichu get inside an egg? How do you hatch something that needs an item to evolve? God, I must have put some weird settings on my randomizer. Right, there's only one name for this. Ah, oh, 
can't fit it all in. Sarah, Bo uh, Sarah Borelli. Sarah Borellis. Because she's not going to write you a love song. <laughs> God, I'm terrible. Alright, let's have a look at you, actually. Let's have a look at this Raichu. Level 1, <laughs> level one Raichu. Hey, Steve. That's a good nature for it, actually. Thundershock. Actually, it's got extra sensory. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's brilliant! The egg is. Ma <laughs> the codes got all mixed up, and because that egg is meant to make the Togepi inside have the egg move extra sensory, if you change the Pokemon inside, it keeps the egg move! <laughs> So now I've got an illegal Raichu. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Actually hilarious. Oh my god. That's cracked me up, man. That's actually cracked me up. Oh my god. My god, man. Oh, I'm so done. I'm so done. Yeah, I'm I'm keeping the I'm keeping the Raichu in, I'm afraid. Oh wait, no, Raichu doesn't learn any good move. It's got extra sensory, what do I care? Oh, I don't know. I think maybe I'll put the... I don't know, I feel like, yeah. I feel like the I-Palm will be nicer now. So we've got the Raichu in reserve, we'll keep the A-Palm for now. So yeah, I won't put Raichu onto the layer. <laughs> oh, that's, that's... <laughs> that's adorable, like, the game's code has gotten so mixed up from that. Oh my god, that's actually brilliant. Actually brilliant. Oh, why am I still running around? Let's go, let's go. <laughs> That's the sort of stuff I love about randomizers. I love random stuff. It makes me giggle. Oh, hello, sir. What do you want? What a Wait up, what's the hurry? You have some good Pokemon there. It must be from the training you gave him around Violet City. The training of the gym must have been especially helpful. As a souvenir of Violet City, take this. It increases the power of grass type moves. It does. Put the Miracle Seed away. Okay. Uh, do I have any grass types on me? Anything with a grass type move? No. So it's kind of just useless for now until I find something that does. And obviously I can't catch anything else in this grass. So what we're going to do is we're going to carry on getting you to level 11. And then we're going to train the rest up. The most irrelevant grass type in the entire franchise. <laughs> I saw the focus blast. Just chilling there. <laughs> oh god. What do you want, mate? What do you want? I haven't seen you around here before, so you think you're pretty tough. Uh, no. I know I'm tough, youngster Albert. <laughs> Who name? Don't mess with Youngster Albert and his level 6 Arceus. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am sorry, Albert. Oh my god. 120 base power move. It's got seismic toss only, thank god. Kill the Arceus. Go on, CN, you god slayer. Not quite. Cool, confused. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it gets judgment from, like, a base level. So, I want to just heal up. I am sorry. I, I Please forgive me, Lord. <laughs> oh, it does get punishment. Oh! I'm glad I healed. Uh...
I think I'm gonna heal up again. All right, okay. We'll heal up again because unless this thing crits me, chances are it might kill itself, and I don't really want to split the CXP. So it'd be great for the rolls. Go on, Arceus. Nope. Ow. Uh. I feel like I'm just testing fate here. No, I'm sorry. I wanted to give you the EXP solo. I don't. I don't trust the. I don't trust it not to crit. Okay, it's gonna punish me instead. <laughs> God's sake, man! I like how I got my level eight rolls to use Focus Blast on an Arceus. <laughs> You've got the creator of all Pokemon, and then you've just got a swab loop. <laughs> oh my god, love it. I actually love it. <laughs> oh god. You did good, Rolls. You did good. <laughs> you used Focus Blast on your lord and creator. <laughs> oh my lord. Typhlosion. Hey, a bird. Uh, confusion. Oh, it's faster than me. No! Why did that do so much? It shouldn't have done anywhere near that much. No way. Get out there, Ripper. Just. Well, that's our first death of the series, I guess, and it came in a very anticlimactic fashion. Just kind of out of nowhere. God damn it. I am actually really upset about that. I used folk. That I. That's not that's not right. Ugh. It's completely my fault, but it's so frustrating. Ugh. <sighs> Great. Well, I guess we're gonna get the right you. At least on, that would have been cool. God's sake, man. God's sake. Ugh. Well, let's go. Get out of my face. Go away. No one I don't no one likes you, Typhlosion. No one likes you. Charizard's better. Leave your arm. Just force palm everything. God's sake. Very anticlimactic fashion. I'm very deflated right now. Actually, really upset at that. I'd, I became a bit attached to my little Rolts. I should have given Focus Blast to the Masquerade. Very upset. Very upset. Oh well. Let's just heal. And then put it back. Damn it. Sorry, Ralts. You gotta go away, my friend. And this is where we also create our death box. So. There we are. Box 18 is the dead box. That's the graveyard. And unfortunately, with the death of my good friend, I'm going to have to leave this episode there. So yeah, thank you for watching my Shepherd Squad. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, don't forget to do all of the good stuff that you, people ask you to do nowadays. Like like and subscribe. I don't really mind. Do what you want to. But yeah, don't forget to let me know if you prefer Pepsi or if you prefer Coke. Or if you're a Dr. Pepper heathen. <laughs> yeah, uh, with that said, I will see you guys back whenever I am able to upload a next video. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye-bye, my guys. Take care of yourselves.